Hello there, my name is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and once again, welcome to an eye on privacy where we share about cyber hygiene tips and data protection tips. So, today I'm going to talk about social engineering, specifically about phishing. So, I came across this article from Tech Target, a very good article that gives you uh, very quick information about the different types of social engineering, specifically on phishing attacks. So, phishing is where uh, social engineers or hackers would apply a method to get you, the unsuspecting victim, or any unsuspecting victim, to click on a link so that they can gain access or steal certain amount of data from the unsuspecting individual. So, um, it is a common form of cyber attack that sometimes does not require a lot of tech. But, these are the three common types of phishing. The first type is spear phishing, where the threat actors, these evil hackers, would target a certain individual or even a group of individuals who have similar experiences. What do I mean? Like, a, for example, uh, they may target a certain group of customer who use a certain service like in the supermarket or a certain bank or even a restaurant. So the social engineers will use certain stories in the email or the phone call and they would get buy-in from unsuspecting victims so that these victims would click on a link that they sent or do certain instructions that are asked in the email or phone call or even the message and when the unsuspecting victim clicks on a link uh, sends certain information that's when they've been spear fish data been stolen and these data could be used for bad purposes so whale fishing is somewhat similar to spear fishing, but this time the hackers have a bigger appetite. They target uh, individuals, typically uh, people in senior management or positions of authority where these hackers will steal very specific information to sell them or use them for these uh, bad, devious uh, objectives. And last not least in this article is shared is called tap napping. Now this term is fairly new to me. I, in fact this is the first time I've seen this term but this practice of phishing is not new and this tap napping means that social engineers would get some form of access to a browser that you're using whether it's on a mobile or a laptop uh, desktop. Now, when the hacker or social engineer gets control of the browser that you are using, if you are supposedly logging on to a bank site, uh, the hacker would be able to see all the data that is being typed in and they would possibly help themselves to the real website where they can enter into the bank account. And this is one of the most common types of uh, attacks used by phishing. So this is where social engineers coupled with some ingenious uh, tech would be able to steal relevant data to gain access. Access that is typically not uh, given to the public. I mean, if you are a CEO and you have access to certain uh, secrets or recipes in the company, you won't be giving them to the public. Likewise, as you as an individual, will not be giving your bank login, PIN number or 2FAs to anybody. And because these social engineers and hackers somehow manage to trick the individual into giving access, and that's where a lot of, well, data is lost and a lot of money can be lost. If you click above, you find a link where I share about uh, many people who have lost money because of phishing attacks. So please, please be very careful to prevent yourself from these phishing attacks. And so how do you prevent them? So one of the best ways to prevent phishing attacks is do not click on any unverified links. Because if these links come from someone whom you do not know or are, uh, or are a suspect, they possibly are bad. And even if you don't click on them, there probably isn't any consequence to you. Because one of the common ploys used by social engineers in phishing is to get you to click on the link urgently. But seriously, if it's really urgent, someone will probably pick up the phone and call you. Now, the other way to prevent social engineering is to, of course, have a 
uh, endpoint security or in other words a malware detector or protector to, de to alert you if someone has control of your computer or is uh, leaking or, or strange data is leaking out from your machine so these are some ways to prevent social engineering and the third way is trust no one <laughs> yeah that's a uh, it's a very kind of a, a bad thing to do but you know seriously the moment you go online you gotta be really careful all right so please remember to be vigilant and educate the next person beside you what is phishing and share them these three different phishing attacks so that you can also learn it even better so this is mark barnabas the creator of data heist a first uh, learning resource to teach data protection and cyber hygiene. So in this game, we talk about phishing and social engineering as well. So remember, be good, be safe, and I'll see you real soon. And here is how you can contact me. Good day and goodbye.